A body plan, bow plan, or ground plan is an assemblage of morphological features shared among many members of a phylum level group. The vertebrate body plan is one of many. Invertebrates consist of many phyla. This term, usually applied to animals, envisages a blueprint encompassing aspects such as symmetry, segmentation and limb disposition. Body plans have historically been considered to have evolved in a flash in the Cambrian explosion. But a more nuanced understanding of animal evolution suggests the gradual development of body plans throughout the early Paleozoic history. The history of the discovery of body plans can be seen as a movement from a worldview centered on the vertebrates, to seeing the vertebrates as one body plan among many. Among the pioneering zoologists, Linnaeus identified two body plans outside the vertebrates, Cuvier identified three, and Haeckel had four, as well as the protista with eight more, for a total of twelve. For comparison, the number of phyla recognized by modern zoologists has risen to 35. Linnaeus, 1735 in his 1735 book, Systema Natura, the Swedish botanist Linnaeus grouped the animals into quadrupeds, birds, amphibians, fish, insects, and worms. Linnaeus's worms included effectively all other groups of animals, not only tape worms, earthworms and leeches but mollusks, sea urchins and starfish, jellyfish, squid and cuttlefish. Cuvier, 1817 in his 1817 work, Le Regne Animal, the French zoologist Georges Cuvier combined evidence from comparative anatomy and paleontology to divide the animal kingdom into four body plans taking the central nervous system as the main organ system which controlled all the others, such as the circulatory and digestive systems. Cuvier distinguished four body plans, I, with a brain and a spinal cord, II, with organs linked by nerve fibers, III, with two longitudinal, ventral nerve cords linked by a band with two ganglia below the esophagus. IV, with a diffuse nervous system, not clearly discernible, grouping animals with these body plans resulted in four branches, vertebrates, mollusks, articulator and zoophytes or radiata. Haeckel, 1866 Ernst Haeckel, in his 1866 General Morphology der Organismen, asserted that all living things were monophyletic being divided into plants, protista, and animals. His protista were divided into monaries, protoplasts, flagellates, diatoms, myxomycetes, myxocystodes, rhizopods, and sponges. His animals were divided into groups with distinct body plans. He named these phyla. Haeckel's animal phyla were coelenterates, echinoderms, and articulates, mollusks, and vertebrates. Gould, 1979 Stephen J. Gould explored the idea that the different phyla could be perceived in terms of a bow plan, illustrating their fixity. However, he later abandoned this idea in favor of punctuated equilibrium. Origin Many body plans originated in the Cambrian period. In the Cambrian explosion, however, complete body plans of many phyla emerged much later, in the Paleozoic or beyond. The current range of body plans is far from exhaustive of the possible patterns for life. The Precambrian Ediacaran biota includes body plans that differ from any found in currently living organisms. Even though the overall arrangement of unrelated modern taxa is quite similar, thus the Cambrian explosion appears to have more or less completely replaced the earlier range of body plans. Genetic bases, genes, embryos and development together determine the form of an adult organism's body. Through the complex switching processes involved in morphogenesis, Developmental biologists seek to understand how genes control the development of structural features through a cascade of processes in which key genes produce morphogens, chemicals that diffuse through the body to produce a gradient that acts as a position indicator for cells, turning on other genes, some of which in turn produce other morphogens. The homeobox genes are remarkably conserved between species as diverse as the fruit fly and man. 
the basic segmented pattern of the worm or fruit fly being the origin of the segmented spine in man. The field of animal evolutionary developmental biology, which studies the genetics of morphology in detail, is rapidly expanding with many of the developmental genetic cascades, particularly in the fruit fly Drosophila, catalogued in considerable detail.